Hi. Today I'd like to walk you through our online class registration process. This will allow you to select your classes for next year. To get to the screen, first make sure you select class registration from the navigation pane on the left. Once there, first start by scrolling to the bottom of the page. There you will see that students are required to have eight credit hours selected, but that some are already selected for you or assigned by us. That's because certain courses are required for all students at this grade level. So we've gone ahead and signed you up. Let's scroll back to the top. You'll see in the instructions that some of our courses are full year and some are half year courses, like our electives. Please pay attention to this when selecting your courses, so the totals add up to eight. As you look down the page, you'll see all the different course offerings for this grade level. The first area has required courses that have already been assigned for you. Click the pencil icon on the top right for a listing of these courses. You'll see that they count for one full credit. SWAT or tutorial doesn't receive a credit, although all students are required to take this. You'll also note that these are locked. You cannot modify the selection. So we'll click OK. Next, let's take a look at math. Course placement is based upon a recommendation by student's current math teacher, which is determined by looking at map scores, assessment grades, and class performance. Please see your math teacher should you have any questions. Again, click on the pencil icon to see the complete list, and place a check in the appropriate box next to the course name. Also note, the exclamation point at the bottom asking you to select a course. You may select one course, but you have selected zero courses. Once you select your course, this will change to a check mark indicated, indicating that you have completed the selection. Click OK. You'll also notice that a course box appears indicating your selection. I'm going to skip past World Language 7 for the moment and come down to Exploratory Blocks. All students in Grade 7 are required to take four of the five exploratory classes offered. There's Drama, Computers, Career Exploration, Art, and Service Learning. Now, each of these classes make up a quarter of a student's academic year. We're asking you to select four of the five exploratory classes. So here they are up here. And I'll take an art class, a service class, computer class, and career explorations. I've selected my four, and then I click OK. The next choices really reflect student preference. At this point, students still require two additional full credits. If I look down at the bottom, I'll see I've got six of my eight credits selected. Music and world languages both count as full year credits. All electives count as half credits, so a student could take music and world language and be done. They could also take four different elective classes, or a music class and two electives, or a world language class and two electives. There are many possibilities, so please read the descriptions carefully. In this case, I will select a world language class, which again is based upon teacher recommendations. So here I come back up. And there's the teacher recommendation for French B. I select it, and then I click OK. I still have one more credit to make up, and I can do this by taking two electives. So I'll click on the electives, select Advanced Robotics, and Art Two Dimension. Please note that there are many electives. In fact, there are three different pages listed here at the bottom. Please take some time to scroll through each one before making your selections. I can take up to four, but since I only need two, I'm selecting two. Click OK. I also need to select some alternates in the event that it's not possible to schedule me in one of these classes. They have to be different from the courses I've already selected. So in this case, I'll take Drama, Model United Nations, money and markets, and photography. Now, although I only need two electives, I have to select four alternates. 
You must select four courses, and I have selected four, so I click OK. If you do not, it won't work. These are the classes that will be assigned only in the event that it wasn't possible to schedule you in one of these. So one of them could be any one of these four if it wasn't possible to schedule you in your first choice. When you're finished, you'll click on the Submit button. You will now see a list of all the requests that you had made. Please note that our program of studies is available online through our school website and PowerSchool, which will provide you with additional course descriptions. If you have any questions about these courses or this online process, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.